Hello, good morning. It's around 7 a.m. right now and everybody in my house is asleep so I decided to shoot this footage just saying random words but actually lip syncing and then just dub myself. So here I am dubbing myself. Today I'll be showing you what I eat in a day when I'm just at home having a lazy day and a lot of time while also staying healthy and in shape, sort of. And also I've been kind of obsessed with cooking recently so I might make something pretty interesting towards the end of the day, but who knows? For breakfast, I would say 95% of the time I'm having oatmeal. And if you've seen any of my cooking videos before, um, they all include oatmeal, which is kind of insane, I would say, but well. However, I do switch up the flavor and the toppings of the oatmeal. And this time we're having a cinnamon apple oatmeal. So I simply saute the apple with a little bit of coconut oil and voila, it smells like Christmas to me. Other toppings include almonds, cinnamon, of course, and honey, and more honey, honey everywhere. Also, we'll be having a matcha with almond milk and this minuscule strawberry. Yeah, just one strawberry. Now for lunch I'll be making a pretty simple salad with cucumber, tomato, uh, lettuce. Then for protein I'm having some chickpeas and feta cheese. And then I'm adding some fresh basil on top. For dressing I'm putting some sesame oil, balsamic vinegar and I'm also sprinkling some uh, dried basil on top, just for the looks. For dinner, I'm being a little bit adventurous here and I'm making a recipe that I've never tried before and this should be pretty interesting. We are making pink pancakes and there is one unusual ingredient in this recipe that is responsible for the color but you will find out what it is a little bit later. First of all, we need flour and I'll be making my own oat flour. Surprise, surprise, oats again. But it is pretty easy to do if you have a food processor, which I do have. Then we'll add a teaspoon of baking powder. Then in a separate bowl I'm mixing two eggs, two tablespoons of honey and vanilla extract, but it is actually in powder form so I guess it would have been better to just add it with the dry ingredients, but well, you live you learn. I'm not a professional chef yet. Now it's finally time for the secret ingredient and that is, drum roll, yeah it is beetroot. It's kind of strange but delicious. 
and then I'm adding some milk and I will link the recipe in the description so you can see the exact quantities of everything although I did change the recipe a little bit now I'm mixing everything together and we have pancake batter that is pink and beautiful Thank you. 